Okay, let's have a look at how we can create classes in APL. We're going to start with an example where we create a class of just simple math, rational numbers. We're going to take two integers representing fractions, for example, a numerator and denominator. Uh, an example is a three sevenths. And the class will contain two integers and three methods. Or maybe we'll just stick with one for this example. One will perform add, and we'll just keep this one here. Add and multiply and return. The reciprocal will be left for you as an exercise. So we're going to take a pair of simple numbers representing a fraction. And the first number, the first number will be called n. The second number will be called d. We're going to be using ed and telling it to edit rational. And how it knows that it's a class is using the symbol here this little symbol, which is the pi symbol. And as soon as we do this, the editor kicks in. And so we start, we put in a field n, which is going to be public. We also put a field d, which is also going to be public. And then we're going to create a, a constructor for the class, which will take two numbers and put them into these two variables there. So we'll create a function called make takes two arguments, a small n, small d. And we have to tell it that it's a constructor. So we put the sentence implements constructor. And because it's also a public method, we have to put this access public in there. We just put the two numbers into the two fields. And that's it. The function has been created. The constructor has been created. Now we can try this class. It's a very simple class. Two fields, one constructor so far. At this point, the class doesn't do anything. But the numbers can be accessed from outside. So let's have a look. We're going to create a new instance of the class rational by giving it two numbers in our, as arguments, three and four. And we're going to assign the result to S1. If we look at n in S1, it's 3, which makes sense. It's been assigned the number 3, and d should be the number 4. If we look at S1, we can see that it's an instance of rational, of the class rational. And APL displays us the fact that it is an instance of the rational class. But this is not very good for us. It might be more interesting to have um, another display. So maybe what we want to do is um, display the numbers uh, without having to use this expression. See, now I have to say, in S1, give me the numbers n and d, 3 and 4, which is fine. But it would be nice if I could just type S1 and it would return 3 slash 4, in this case, 3 and 4, 3 quarters. So let's try this. If we try to use the system function quad df, and we apply it to S1, and we say we want to see 3 quarters, then next time we use S1, we get 3 quarters. Now that looks better. What would be nice is to have the constructor do that for us automatically. So let's go back in there, and just before the constructor is finished, we're going to put in a call to QuadDF saying display the first number, slash, and then the second number in this instance. Let's try it. Now we're going to ask to create a new rational number using the numbers 1 and 6, 1 sixth, and put that into S2. If we look at S2 now, now it has a better display. Okay, let's create a new method. We want to do the plus method. Plus will add the number in the instance, the one we have here to another instance given as an argument. So plus will take an argument, which is an instance of rational, another number, and it will add it to the number we have now. So here's the function. It's, uh, it returns a new rational, the name of the function is plus, and it takes as an argument the another rational, and it's got a couple of local variables. Of course, it has to be public. And the formula for adding two fractions is this one here. 
So we're going to do exactly the same thing. So the new numerator is going to be our n times d of the other rational plus our denominator times the numerator in the other rational. And the denominator will be our denominator times the other denominator. And from these two numbers, we're going to create a new rational, and we're going to return the result. Let's try that. So now, we're asking in S1, call the function plus, and add the number in S2. We know that S1 is 3 quarters, S2 is 1 sixth, so S3 should be 22 24 which is right, but 22 24 is also 11 twelfths. So the function should be a little bit smarter. It is working, but it would be better if we could simplify the fraction. We can improve the function by dividing these two numbers here by their greatest common divisor. Now let's try this. There, it's working. There's only one method at the moment, plus. Here's an example. We're going to create a list of numbers, and if we look at lists, it's first nine fractions. Now if we add these to S1, which is three quarters, we get nine new numbers that have all been added properly. And if we look at the floating point representation, it looks like it's working. All right.